All right, I'm gonna make a video today of how we do our water here in the uh, wintertime snow. So, Ben's gonna do it. First of all, we have a cover that goes over the well. Had to keep that nice and warm. And there's also some heat tape around the top of the well. Fill our tanks up because the tanks are heated. It, even if you had a heated hose and you left it connected to the RV in this, it would probably still freeze. Next week we have days as low as negative 20, so I wouldn't risk it with a heated hose. So we have to fill our tanks up once a day, just what we have to do. The next thing is we turn the hose on so we can make sure if there's any ice in the hose, it's gonna blow it out. Even though we walk the hose down each time. All right, we're good. Now we know there's no ice in the hose because you don't want to blow ice inside the RV. Inside the RV's tank, it'll, I've done it before. It just uh, clogs it up. Next step is putting in, putting in the hole. I'm very good at it. Yeah, turn it on. Now she's going to turn it on back there. We fill it to about two thirds. We have an issue if we fill it all the way to full, it just comes out our overflow till the tank's empty. I have no clue why, so a little snow today. There's our cars, keep the windshield wipers up. So when we're ready to go somewhere, we can put them down. They're not froze to the windshield. Another thing I did was I put down these pallets, built us a little bit of an 1800s walkway. Get you up out of the snow and up out of the ice when you come up to the RV. Oh boy. Truck. She's a beaut. There's Bear going potty. Right, Bear? Bear, move the shovel. Go potty. Go potty. What? What? Oh, get. Oh. Get. I know. What? Is it snowing? All right, he's going to do his business. You don't want to see that. We're getting close, so once we get about two thirds, flip it off, pull it out, unhook the hose, walk it down, make sure no water's in it. Side note quickie, here's our Starlink. As you can see, it's been snowing. Everything's got snow on it. But the Starlink, it's just a little bit damp. It's got a heater inside. It's got a heater inside, so it melts the snow off. So you can see by the icicles down there. So it doesn't build a bunch of snow up on top of it. So if you put it up on top of your RV, which is what we were gonna do, but haven't done yet, you wouldn't have to mess with it. It would uh, keep the snow off. There's Gertie. Say hi, Gertie. Say cheeseburger. Woo. What are you doing? You're all tangled up now. We're very festive around here. We have a penguin, a Christmas penguin. Yeah, pretty cool. Good girls. Are you a movie star? Yeah, you good girls are. All right, no more. There's the cord. We just run the cord straight from the Starlink right up through the window. Seems to work just fine. Good enough for now. All right. hat there for the well keeps it nice and warm. Go ahead and walk it down. Got to disconnect the hose first. I'll pull it out down here. All right, so after we're done, disconnect her. All right, go ahead and walk it down. Yes, so she's gonna lift the hose high above her head. Nothing's coming out. Let's go, let's go, faster. It was, now it's not. Keep going. Hurry up, my hand's freezing to my phone. Let go of my phone. Oh, it'll be fine. The snow will be on top of it. All right, that's what we do. Go ahead, set this all back up. Put your cap back on the tank, if, if you can remember. All right, so that's our system. That's how we do it. If you got a better idea, let me know in the description because I'm always open to suggestions. Seems like the only other idea would be 
use a heated hose. It's just I've heard so many bad reviews on them when it gets super cold. I don't wanna go spend another $150 on something stupid that's not gonna work. I've already done that plenty of times. All right, we'll see you later.